Hey everybody, how's it going? We're going to do a quick uh, quick tip tonight on um, Fusion 360 using the project um, feature. Um, so what I want to do is uh, I'm going to CNC a guitar body um, on my Millwright and I've downloaded a pre-existing model of a uh, it's a model of a Stratocast, Stratocaster and I do like the overall shape and all that good stuff. Uh, this was actually downloaded off the Laguna IQ website. It's in their CNC projects folder. Um, you pick on guitar and if you want the, the files it's totally free. You just have to sign up for their mailing list uh, if you want it. Um, but I want to start off uh, when I download it or when I CNC it I really just sort of I want to start my modeling effort off with just a 2D surface. Um, or, or at least a two and a half D. So the 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 pocket features here for the electronics and uh, the neck portion where the neck attaches, those are all um, good. Um, they are the right depth. They are the right position. I'm not really going to change those. But what I do when I change is maybe I'm going to add some 3D features to the body. Uh, I might do some bigger pockets or cutouts here to add some depth and whatever kind of make it unique in mine. Um, but uh, I don't really care too much for this radius, so I'm going to get rid of that. And the one underneath here, um, I, I likely won't do a two-sided carve on my CNC. I'll probably just do a one-sided carve. So I really just want to get this to more of a 2D uh, rendering. Um, and so to do that, the easy way to do that is to basically um, use the project feature. So the first, the way I'm doing this, the first thing you would do is make an offset plane. So I'm going to pick offset plane here, um, but I'm not really going to offset it. I'm just going to choose this top face of this body um, and hit OK. So now I've got a plane here that I'm going to project all of my my lines, my splines onto. So now we're going to go here to create sketch, and I'm going to say on this plane that we just created, that's where we're going to do it. And then we're going to go back here to create, and we're going to say project include and we're going to say project here so this will basically allow you to select certain features outlines splines whatever of an existing body to project those lines up so i'm going to go through um, and basically just kind of pick everything because i you know like i said I, I want the overall shape i'm just going to tweak this a hair and i want to keep those features for the pockets because i'll ultimately go back and um, and carve those back out when I make a new body here. So I'm going to hit OK. So now you see we've got all these lines, all these little sort of purpley lines and dots uh, that have been projected up to our new plane. So if I say finish sketch, and then if I hide the original body that came in, so now I'm just left with uh, basically a 2D, like a, like a DXF file. We could export this to DXF if we wanted to. Uh, now I do have this line here, which I can get rid of. Um, maybe. Can I get rid of that? No, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it does look like, so you can see where this portion is white, it's not this light blue like the rest. That means that there is something not connected in here. And I do have a couple of features that looks like uh, these little circles. So I may need to go back through and do some tracing and some cleanup. But from here you can see it's pretty easy to basically now go ahead and, and um, uh, create your own body on this. So if I hit the E for extrude and I come back through and I just pick everything again, I pick everything. Uh, and it won't let me pick that guy, but that's okay. I'll, I'll fix him later. Um, so now it's asking me, well, how, how big do I want to make this extrusion? I'm going to say it's going down negative 1.75 inches. So it's going to go down 1.75 inches. So that's the, the height of the body. <clears throat> so now you can see I've got a nice flat 2D surface here. Uh, you can see it hit my skit, my sketch that we just made. So I'm going to go ahead and hi uh, bring it back, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, extrude these holes. So I know that that is negative 0.5 inches. I'm going to cut that in, and I know this is going to be an E for extrude and a negative 1.5 inches. Uh, and I believe this one is also a E and a negative 1.5 inches. Okay, I could be wrong on that one, but it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> so now I've got everything where I want it. I can hide this sketch again. And so, like I said, I need to go back through here and fix this little portion, which I could simply do an outline. I could, I could start a new sketch on this plane and basically just roll in an outline here and, and fix that up, so it's no problem. 
<clears throat> but now you can now you've got your own body and you can modify this however you want to do it so it's kind of a nice feature so you can take if you've got other sort of three-dimensional sketches like that that you need to project up or other features that you want to project up that are on different levels uh, that's sort of a slick way to do it and I'm gonna have some some fun probably do another couple videos on how I modify this thing and then ultimately carve it out on the on the CNC um, so yeah so there you go so there's a nice little feature if you don't know about it it's uh, it's kind of a cool one so so there you go there's your your quick tip for the night and um, thanks for everything and you know like and subscribe and all the good stuff and we'll do more thanks a lot see ya